Welcome back guys to another episode of Ballin' on a Budget and today we went big, I'm talking big, the Kith, Marvels, Villains, Collectors Pack in the Battle Spectra along with ASICs of course. This is another collaboration that Kith has done with ASICs and this time they went absolutely nuts. Now the retail price was $350 for this particular package but a lot of you guys missed out. So today we're going to look inside this package and the package in itself to see if it's absolutely worth the resale of up to $700 to $1,000 on today's episode of Balling on a Budget, episode four, coming up next. Now, before we break open this box, let's go over some minor details of when this sneaker released. Now, the official release date was August the 9th, but people who have had loyalty access through the Kith app actually receive access to purchase this sneaker on August the 6th. Now the packaging. The packaging is probably the best packaging I've seen on any box or any kind of shoe release in possibly years. As you can see, the overlay and the graphic on the front end of this box looks absolutely tremendous. Uh, this is once again the Battle Spectrum package where you're gonna receive two A6 sneakers. Uh, one is gonna be uh, the D GT, I'm sorry, GT2160 and the Spider-Man and vice versa. You're gonna see the other colorway in the Venom. But before we get inside of that to the shoes, let's talk about the box. The beautiful gold inlays and accents of the writing for us, the Marvel Villains uh, collection, footwear and Kiff Battle Spectrum being there. You have the five collectibles. Uh, guys, this just looks absolutely crazy. As you can see, it's gonna offer you a double decker uh, for the top portion being the amazing Spider-Man and the bottom portion being Venom there. Actual weight of this box when I put it on the weight scale itself was somewhere around 17 pounds, some odd ounces. And you've seen a lot of theories where people have been measuring, uh, I should say weighing this box, trying to see if they have the dedicated slab that's inside of it but we'll talk about that later. Looking back around to the front portion of the box, you're gonna notice the double deckers and the mid slice here. Now this mid slice on this particular box is gonna have the battle spectrum on it, but inside of it is where it's gonna get interesting. Now, my eagerness has allowed me to already cut this portion open so I can see what's in the slab, see if I actually got a PSA slab, uh, but I did not. But I'm gonna show you guys what I actually have. I'll slide it here. And I was shaking the box the whole time to see if I actually got a slab. But I got something that I really liked here too. You're gonna have, of course, your cushioning being right there. But I was able to get a comic in the color of blue. And that's that rendition of Spider-Man and Venom. Uh, Ronnie Fi um, and Kiff with Marvels has done a absolute excellent job. Again, as you can see, I'm kind of glad I got the blue um comic book itself too uh it's not in the slab with the psa but i'll show you guys the one that i already have and which it's a link above that talks simply about the slab that a lot of people don't know the history i should say of venom and spider-man uh, but just to dive into it a little bit spider-man and venom have been having their love hate relationship for a long time now way back in the 80s in which you know i'm an 80s baby but growing up watching spider-man you've seen the shows vice versa the comic books that we can go buy and get the bubble gum uh packaging with it also but where it initially started was of course when uh spider-man seen this uh symbiotic type fluid or material or whatever it may be uh, called to you guys and it attached itself to spider-man and it gave him this unbelievable strength that we've never seen out of spider-man but where it got odd was spider-man start to notice with this fluid symbiotic fluid that he had that took over his body which gave him the black costume actually start to alter his thinking in a bad way so spider-man detached itself from that fluid which known to be venom and it attached itself to Eddie Brock, in which Eddie Brock absolutely hated Spider-Man. Now, I won't dive in too deep in that, but that's when Venom became Venom who he was because he had that hate against Spider-Man, and Eddie Brock definitely had a lot of hate to Spider-Man, which gave you the entanglement for Spider-Man's most 
competitive villains in the world out of all the comics and out of all the enemies, this is by far one of his best. But okay, enough of the small talk, but I just wanted to give you some guys, uh, give you guys some history. So let's go ahead and get inside this box because I have not seen these shoes yet. So of course I'm a hype beast and I got my Supreme box cutter here. So uh, let's make sure I got this open up correct and we will take a look at both of the ASIC GT 2160s in which uh, you gotta watch Ronnie Five because he's always thinking of something when he puts a collaboration together, which he's been doing this collaborations with ASIC since 2007. That's the homage, uh, paying homage shoe uh, back in the day. But you guys should know about that if you're real sneaker heads. But anyway, let's open up the amazing Spider-Man casing first. So I'm gonna slide it to the side. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Now I pulled it all the way out just so I can show you guys the surroundings of it as you can actually see here, the amazing Spider-Man and it's vice versa here on the opposite side. This is not just a pair of shoes. This, this, this collection right here is a true collection because it attaches whether it's Kith or Spider-Man or Venom to almost every prospect of the shoe box whatever wrapping tissue paper and that's how you get a true collectible uh but this is going to be the inside here boom you guys can see it there it goes the wrapping is phenomenal nothing inside the box when it comes there so yeah man that's that's dope all right so i'll slide this back in so we can concentrate just on these itself so once again this is going to be the wrapper Right on the back portion, I think it has uh, Marvel in collaborations with Kith. That's absolutely huge. Uh, and you're gonna have the similar artwork on the front, uh, both sides of the box itself on the aluminum wrapping itself with five. So that's absolutely tremendous. I don't see anything that's, that's indifferent, but just this bag itself is better than anything that i've seen like i said come out this year and i'm so glad nike changed the ceo so they can start to bring back some nostalgia but this is pure nostalgia and the one reason why i was pretty hyped about getting this collectible itself so let's go ahead and open it up oh sometimes you gotta stick your face in it you know what i'm saying get that smell <sighs> Woo. all right so let's go ahead and pull this out my daughter's on the other side laughing at me. Anyway, we're gonna put this to the side here and we are going to get the Spider-Man silhouette as you have it here. The full color palette of this shoe is gonna identify with the Spider-Man uh, trilogy to itself. It looks phenomenal. I like the way it has the fade of the red and the blue uh, fading to the front portion lighter to the top front toe box of the shoe this just looks absolutely amazing uh this course this shoe is going to have the synthetic leather that wraps around it different color outlays you're going to have the black uh blues deep blue coloring there the silver top portion um asic is heavily identified on this shoe itself with the tags and right there on the tongue portion you're going to have asics on the back branding of the gt2160 of course you're gonna see uh the marvel uh label being there i thought it said kith but i think that's gonna be different on the opposite side shoe uh, but everything looks great about it you have the jail feel uh bumpy in portions right there on the bottom of the sole uh everything that you expect from the to, uh, g uh the gt uh 2160 being on there now let me pop pull this one out so of course off the top we're gonna have one two three lace swaps in a rope laces and I like that they freaking do that you guys know how much I like lace swaps and if you're gonna spend the money that you spend on sneakers these days they need to have the availability of lace swaps so you're gonna get your blue you're gonna get your uh, red with some uh, white and blue mixed inside of it. And of course your traditional white, that should look great itself. Now inside of the shoe, you're gonna have, of course, almost like a off-white color of laces there. That just matches with the bottom sole all the way around the shoe. Now, extremely light, uh, the GT20, 
I should say, yeah, the GT2160s. I keep on wanting to say in uh, GT2000s uh, because that was, of course, the original silhouette of this shoe, the vintage shoe itself, and it was remastered, remade into the 2160s. It's an everyday shoe. And I think he was pairing that in collaborations with every day, just like the Amazing Spider-Man, you have a battle with something either you combine with, with yourself, battles in life that you have to handle internally. So I think, you know, the everyday shoe on ASIC website to be worn was in translation with the everyday battles you might have within yourself. Got some great details on the inside all the way through. I'm gonna pull out the insole Ugh, right here. Oh man, see, this is this is where the shoe gets real different. This is where the shoe gets different. Look at the insoles there on the shoes themselves. You got Spider-Man inlay and you have right there an the attachment that's actually sewn into the bottom. You're gonna have your Asics and Kith branding on each one of those. I'll move that one out the way so you can see that one, vice versa being there. Um, the, the, the palette of it looks great, guys. And what I'm anxious to see is if this continuation of the artwork actually uh, translate into the Venom shoe itself too, because if that's the case, that's gonna be that's gonna be crazy uh, <laughs> if they did it that way. Overall, the Spider-Man shoe is exactly what I want it to be, and I like the fact that they didn't go too crazy on this shoe itself. So on the opposite side, the right foot, you're gonna have the Kith branding right down the front portion of the tongue. I'll try to move my face so you can see it. Um, and of course you have ASIC here once again. I'll show you guys if you missed out on that. And on the back portion heel, you're gonna have thigh and you're gonna have marbles in which I'll move my big head out the way so you guys can actually see that also. Man, what a great uh, color palette uh, to put together to uh, indicate this shoe has been the Spider-Man. They did a phenomenal job. The colors are great. Uh, once again, I'll hold this up so you guys can see it. But those are the sneakers. These are the insoles. That's the bottom portion of the shoes themselves too. Um, and once again, these are the three lace swaps here. So four sets of laces on a pair of shoes just give you unlimited amount of wearability with different outfits. All right, so let's open the bottom portion. This is gonna be Venom. Ah. Uh. There we go. Let's pull this all the way out. All right, so here we go. We got Venom. Uh, looks to be on both sides. I already said both, but both sides is gonna be on there too. Uh, the aluminum packaging is gonna be absolutely identical to what we already seen. So I won't go too in deep into that. Uh, so let's do this. I'm gonna... Uh, Pull that out the way. Put this inside of it. And I'm gonna move this off to the side. So, we got the Spider-Man's already out. We're gonna pull out now the Venom. In which I love the Venom movies, by the way. Um, just, they, they, they picked the perfect characters for the movie and I, it got a little humor to it too. With Spider-Man has always had a little uh, human to it, but Marvel's did a great job with the casting on Venom. Can't wait till the new one comes out. All right. Whew. Guys, here it is. This is the Venom colorway of the ASIC GT 2160s. Man, they nailed it on these too. Now this is probably going to be, I don't know, this might be one of the best color palettes that they actually did on here. Now, traditionally it may seem just, uh, you know, oh, it's another shoe that's black, but the hues and the coloring inside of this are not just your average hues. Of course, you're gonna have your darker navy uh, towards the back and it opens up a little bit more brighter and changes into your lighter blue colorway, almost goes into a purple back to a dark navy. Uh, translating to a blue. Now your synthetic letters for it's gonna have your black wrapping around the front portion uh, on this shoe itself and it just looks dynamic. This is probably gonna be one of the easiest wearable colorways I think 
uh, coming up in this winter time. But overall, this shoe will be able to go with a lot of uh, different colorways or different outfits that you guys may wear. Uh, let me pull this back here so we can check and see what kind of lace swaps we have. Oh yes, perfect, absolutely perfect. You're gonna have your black in contrast with white stitching, white laces, and you're gonna have almost that aqua or teal blue. Um, these are gonna slap. These are gonna absolutely slap inside the shoe itself. The white is gonna be a great combination too, not really thinking about it, and you have the black. Once again, four lace swaps. Now, digging into the same details, uh, top portion of the tongue, of course, is gonna have ASIC on there. You're gonna have Kith on the right foot of that shoe. Uh, look at that toe box. Look how great that toe box looks on the front of that shoe too. Look at the color, the way it fades into it and whew, when you hit the bottom look at that crazy crazy details by asic and kith again just it just seem almost undefeated right now with almost any collaboration that they does this is going to be the back portion of the shoe i move it side to side so you guys will be able to see what's on there and how it looks bottom once again too uh they nailed it they they absolutely nailed it but what gets interesting is i want to see these insoles because if they paired it together, yes, they paired it together. And you can tell. I'll move these right here so we'll still be able to see them. Let's put our lace swaps back in the shoes. But here you'll see it. Venom being on there. Looks like he's eating into something there too, or just the slime or the slob coming outside of his mouth. Now, what we actually seen on the in the shoe uh, insoles of the Spider-Man was this, and you're gonna see some of that slime coming out of Venom's mouth is actually on the one of Spider-Man's also, and it's gonna be on this one. It's gonna be right at the top. So let me do it. Yeah. So you see it there. That's Spider-Man, and then you're gonna see it here with Venom as it's coming out of his mouth. It's running down on type of Spider-Man itself. So I'll get you guys another shot of that too, in which you'll actually see it now in front of your screen. But the details of it just looks phenomenal. They nailed it. <sighs> they, they killed it again. I can't express how crazy that Kip has went on this collaboration and looking at these shoes all put together uh, uh, with the details is absolutely tremendous. Uh, the colorways that you actually see with the Venom and the colorway of you see of your neighborhood uh, hero, Spider-Man being on this GT2160 is phenomenal. Um, there's not much else to really talk about these shoes. This is why Kith is still running things when it comes to putting on a show or display uh, when you get your shoes themselves. It should not only be about the wearability, but it should be a showcase when you spend in upwards of retail of $350. Now, if you're asking me, is it worth the $700 to $1,000, depending on the size. Now I'm a size 10. If you go look at resale right now, it's gonna be somewhere around $500. You get two pair of shoes, right? You get two pair of shoes, you get custom insoles, custom palettes of colors identical to the character that is displaying, the exact same thing with Venom itself, and you get a box that looks like this, and you even get a comic book in which we have in blue here, in which you have different uh rarities of psa's or different comic books itself too this is all that you get in packaging that you're going to spend your money on from sneakers I hear anybody complain about it because for a while we were spending almost 500 to 600 700 dollars on a pair of waves from adidas and yeezy and now we have a collaboration that looks like this this is a absolute must cop Take the opportunity, whether it's the battle pack or one of the other packages that were featured with featured with Kith and Marvels. I think you guys should absolutely do it to have this memory of having this box. Matt, it is absolutely worth the money to be able to buy this package itself. I'm gonna hold up both so you can see it. Bam! Look at that. You can't 
beat what you're actually seeing here. The color the palettes, the transitioning into it, the makeup of the sneakers is absolutely worth every dime. Ronnie, do not change who you are, sir, because you are well ahead of the game. Asics, thank you for providing this collaboration with Kip because you are giving us not only great style, but you're giving us a collectible and something that I can wear to still feel comfortable on the bottom of my foot. Well, guys, that's it for today from Nature Boy Chuck and Balling on the Budget. This shoe is worth it. You may have to go a month without buying some other shoes, but in the long run, you're going to be happy that you made this purchase. Let me know what you think. Which package did you guys cop yourselves in the Kilt and the Marble? I remember the first series with the mystery box. We got the second series with these, and I'm absolutely pleased. So drop it in the comment section. But other than that, guys, I'll see you next time. Peace.